Welcome to BizTalk Malaysia. Today we are at the Aquaporing uh, the Future seminar organized by EMCCI and DUTM. Next to me is Mr. Dross, uh, the EU delegate, who just hold a very interesting speech. And we have some questions for him regarding the role of uh, EU firms in the aquapowering industry sector in Malaysia. So my first question, Mr. Dross, what are the challenges of marina energy from your perspective? Thank you. I see um, three main challenges. Um, the first challenge is financing these projects. Uh, we are in an environment where this technology is new, there is a lot of uncertainty, and they are high cost of investment. So the first challenge is to be sure that good projects can find the right financing. The second challenge is the environment challenge. Yes, we want to produce ocean energy. We believe that this is good for sustainability, but at the same time, we want to make sure that this is not damaging the ma marine environment. And for this, we want to do sustainable impact assessment in order to make sure that this technology is good for the environment. And then the third challenge is the technology. This is a technology that is quite recent. The EU is well placed on this technology, but we need to make sure that research is continuing so that not only the costs are reduced, but the performance is increased. Okay, so we see three challenges. Uh, where do you see the EU delegation's role to overcome these challenges? Yes, I think what we can do is first um, share more information about the EU programs. We have an EU program for research which is called Horizon 2020 and we can uh, promote this program and share information about the possibilities to get finances for projects in ocean energy from this program. Um, the second element is that uh, we can also um, encourage contact with the Malaysian authorities, with the Malaysian government, in order to have a joint project and also to, um, um, because Malaysia in a way has the same challenges as we are, Malaysia also is willing to be investing in ocean energy. So we can share our experience with Malaysia. We have just gone through a process which took us two years um, and which enables through a private forum uh, to have a roadmap that will not be now be studied by the EU institutions. So we can share with Malaysia our experience in order to facilitate the development of ocean energies in Malaysia. Okay, that's very nice to hear that also you see synergies and uh, that you can support uh, Malaysian companies to access European fundings as the Horizon 2020. Our final question is, where do you see the strengths and the role of EU firms outside of Europe regarding the uh, aquapowering uh, industry, in this case Malaysia? Yes, thank you. I think the EU firms are very well placed on the global market for ocean energy. Um, our estimate is that half of the firms in um, tidal and wave energy come from Europe. This is one of the great assets of Europe. This is where Europe has a leading technology and this is where Europe can really uh, help through partnership the development of this ocean energy in Malaysia. Okay, that's uh, very interesting. So we have a lot of uh, European companies which are interesting for the Malaysian market. Thank you very much, Mr. Dross. Thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoy the seminar and hope to see you soon. Thank okay. You. This was BizTalk Malaysia from the Aqua Powering the Future seminar co organized by UMCCI and UTM.